Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick preview of some upcoming projects. So Philco 3710 is coming along nicely. A little bit of touch up work on the cabinet right now. As soon as this is done, I plan on starting on this, maybe even tonight. The Mercury 16 inch TV from the early 50s. After that, well, got a little delivery this morning. Bam, Stromberg Carlson. I gotta double check on the exact year, but I'm thinking around 53 or so. Before Emerson bought them, I think, and things, the quality kind of went down. It's a 21 inch black and white set. And uh, in keeping with uh, other Strombergs I've seen, like the big 19 inch set I picked up recently, is very clean, simple lines, but an elegant look. And this is not veneer, and this is not some fake uh, blonde finish. This, I think, is actually solid maple, as near as I can figure. No veneer on this, no faux finish. So, there's a few dings here and there, but that might uh, actually be pretty easy to take out. So here's what I mean about the clean styling. So, just a simple elegant curve around here, nice knobs. The name and some auxiliary functions right here. So I got the channel, or rather the volume. And I'm not sure what that is. Perhaps contrast and then a channel clunker on this side. And we're wondering if what these holes are for up here. It could possibly be some illumination that comes out there. I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, so I'm going to poke around a little bit, find some exact service info for it. This is a beast. Luckily, two guys who dropped it off were able to carry it up to my second floor unit. Uh, and then I had the brief notion I could carry this inside myself. Oh, no, 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 that's not going to happen. So what I think I'll be doing when I get to it is turn around, take off the back out here, and pull the chassis out. Not sure if the pitch juice attached to the chassis or not. probably is. And I want to uh, test that soon. Because the condition of it is unknown. I believe you said uh, when it was last powered on, the picture collapsed to a horizontal line. I don't see a burn in, so I don't think it was left on too long, which would have damaged it. But uh, at least that's some indication that the picture tube was good when it was last used. Now, that's not all he dropped off. He also dropped off this, which looks mighty familiar to me. It is a Hickok 121 Cardmatic Tube Tester. He'd like me to. Give it a, uh, a look over, make sure it's fully operational. And then there's one other item. Which is this? A really, really sweet Tombstone Radio. It's an airline. I think I've seen this dial before and people uh, have kind of personified it. Making these two into eyes and a smiley face kind of thing. Not sure what that's all about here, so I just barely looked at this since it was dropped off. I noticed right away is the chassis is not secured to the cabinet, and I think it may have uh, may have been some mounts underneath that have worn away. So the control chassis would be a little bit low. I'm thinking this is tuning. Oh, base and treble, so it's tone, and that I think is perhaps volume. Yeah, wow, that's volume. See, it's not turning too well, so probably the dial cord is slipping a bit there. And oh yeah, it's tone. Well, I never actually seen one of these up close. I didn't know what these did. So there must be a dial string going around here. Around up there, around this way. Kind of complicated. Not the original grill cloth, I'm sure. Nice cabinet, though. Nice inlay. Work on it. And uh, good shape, too. And I just barely took a peek inside. It looks like a well-made radio. From what I can see, I have not uh, tracked down the exact model number or looked at any service info yet. This little speaker looks to be uh, cone seems to be intact. Power cord. Perhaps the original, perhaps not. Definitely some frayed wires here and there like for these grid cap leads. Replace those. Push-pull output on it. 
in this bag are the knobs. I don't think so they weren't a match set, so we'll see if we can track that. So, there's a label, it's hard to read, but I mean, I'm like, every word model 62131. 70 what? Oh, not push pull up, but that's an 80 next to the 42. I thought maybe because these tubes look so similar, I thought maybe they were both. Uh, output, but now that I can see now is an 80 rectifier, and that is a 42 type output tube. Looks like we're missing a shield here. Hopefully, I can track down a replacement for that. Let's line up here 66, 6B7, another 66. It's good because none of my radios use 66s or 6C6s and, and such from that line of tubes, but I got a whole bunch of them, I think, around. So. Any of these tubes are weak, no trouble replacing them. Oh, there's some speaker plugs in. I wonder if somebody had been working on this recently since the speaker's unplugged and the chassis bolts are missing. Alright, so I will be working on this in the uh, coming near future. Also a, uh, a pair of Filco 118s. One I've got, and another one's going to be sent to me, I do believe, in the near future. But before any of that fun can begin, Got to wrap things up with this. Hopefully, uh, just one more installment in this 3710 will be done.